I'm Shivani and we're here at the AFI Silver Docks Film Festival in Silver Spring, Maryland on the red carpet waiting for Spike Lee, this year's Guggenheim honoree. Congratulations, Spike, on winning the, the Guggenheim Award. How does it feel? Good. Real good, huh? Glad to be here. Is this your first time at Silver Docks? Yeah, but not the first time in Chocolate City, though. <laughs> good to be back. Are you going to be here for a while? Are you representing? Yeah, I might. Come November, I might have to move here. Uh oh, watch out, DC. You know, the real Chocolate City. <laughs> P Funk up in here. Paint the White House black. Oh. Paint it black. Sounds like that's what's happening. Paint it black. Spike, I have a few questions I'd like to ask you. First and foremost, in your opinion, over the last 20 years, how do you feel the landscape of African American film has changed? And do you see it evolving? And so, if so, how? It goes back, it goes forward, it goes back, it goes forward. And, you know, there's still the element of coonery buffoonery with us. Do you care or do you wish to comment at all about the lack of representation of African Americans in the World War II films? How do you feel? As I mean, uh, I've said it on many records, and now the film's coming out, so let this film speak for itself. Wonderful. Open September 26th, Miracle St. Anna. Now, I know you have a lot of projects that, are, that you're working on. What's, what's coming up next? What's on the docket? Well, we got to finish this documentary on Kobe Bryant. Uh, we're still finishing Miracle at St. Anna. We're in the post-production of that. And I gotta try my try to find my next uh, feature film. We do, I would like to say this, that a next, hopefully not too long from now, we're gonna go back to New Orleans, and, and not just New Orleans, but the other regions that were hit by the levees and Katrina and, and deal finish up because it's not done. When uh, when the levees broke, it's not done. You know, even though. It was four hours broadcast on HBO, and you bought the DVD, it was another two hours. It's still evolving. People still catching hell. We want to stay with that story. One more question about Katrina. Why is it that you chose to leave the word Katrina out of the title when the levees broke? Because I think there was this misconception that it was Katrina that did it. That was not the case. Katrina. Hurricane Treat actually miss right. New Orleans. It was the, the faulty levee system. And you see right now in the Midwest and, and Cedar Rapids and all these other places, they have faulty levees too. The, the infrastructure of the United States of America is broke. It's broke. And you know, hopefully we have some new people up in there and Bush and them guys, as they used to say in baseball, throw the bums out. All right, this is Spike Lee and you're watching Real Black TV. Thank you, Spike.